What's up, what's up, and welcome to another episode, Master Modes Film Session, and today we're going to be talking about Miles Jack, and more importantly, man, just his ability to play downhill in this run game, man. This dude, since joining the Pittsburgh Steelers, continues to show how productive he can be um, against this run, man, and just as ultimately a leader out there on this field, man. So I wanted to highlight him for a little bit, but there he is right there, the inside linebacker off ball spot. <laughs> and make sure y'all like this vid too while we at it. Subscribe and all that good stuff. But let's play it at full speed and after that, man, we'll talk some of the details. All righty, all righty. So in terms of what's happening right here, they're obviously in their nickel formation, sub package defense. So Turns the gap responsibilities. High Smith has that uh, has the edge. C gap right here. Cam is in that backside. A. That's uh, Montrevis. He's gonna be in the front side. B. Malik Reed. He's gonna be setting the edge. All right. One back right here, but because of this sub package ball, that means that Miles is gonna have two gaps on this responsibility. All right. If this was a base front, we had our nickel out here. Now you talk when we hear you, people say one back, one gap, and things like that. So for Miles, he knows, man. He's got this front side, he's got this A gap, and he has to be ready to get to this C gap as well. All right, this backside B gap right here, Devin Bush. He's late to it just because of the cover stuff. All right, but that's gonna be ultimately how they uh how they gap this defense out. Okay. So as we start the playoff, get a little pre-snap shift, just flipping around the back from front side to the uh, I mean from the nub side to the front side of this thing, okay? And then from there. You get what? Double pull action, all right? Center's pulling, front side guard's pulling. So Miles knows right now, hey man, this is fast flow. I got pullers, I gotta go right now, all right? So that's why it's nothing bringing him back here. So you see him, all right, let's go. He's not wasting any time. Next thing I like is this though. Once he gets out there, he starts to tempo this thing. You see him shuffle, stay square right here, right? And why does he need to go to the shuffle? Because even though this play is designed to hit outside, okay? And he knows that I had two pullers come out here. The first guy picks up Levi Wallace, who was the edge defender. So uh, I guess in this, uh, I couldn't see if it was a number or not. But in this situation right here, like I said, the first puller picks up, uh, picks up Levi. Now the second guy is going to be pulling through, looking for whoever. Okay. But the reason why Miles Jack has to tempo this thing in shuffle and stay square is because there is nothing keeping Devin Singletary from putting his foot in the ground and trying to hit this thing out the back door. Okay. And if that was the case, granted, we said the, the backside linebackers, whether you're talking Devin or in this case, Alex, you want them to close that gap. Miles is a playmaker. So he's just being conscious of it. He's not overly concerned with it, but that's ultimately why he starts to temple the ball. Now, when he sees that this thing is committed to going outside, now hat and hands, two hands inside plate of 60, does a good job getting that separation extension. Now he has defeated this block. You see his hat's free outside arm free he's controlling this blocker so now he can come off this thing and make this play right here ultimately good work wrap up it's a good time tackle, big time tackle right here man good fundamental play though but that's what miles brings to the table consistently when you watch his tape man above the net game fundamentally sound and then then a playmaker let's go i mean the detail on this play right here this is what miles jack continues to bring nice little subtle movement because he knows all right a gap is where I need to be early on, but I know out here, man, depending on what they do, I could have to get out there, all right? But ultimately, man, like I said, really good job, man. Nice work right here from Miles and from this defense as a whole. Definitely like this. And I was actually uh, incorrect in terms of these two guys right here. Since Levi is down, Levi was actually setting the point right here. So Malik Reed was gonna be uh, ultimately in that C gap here, here. So Miles would only have to worry about that. Did not see my man Levi over there at first. So shout out to him. And that's why we wanted to go back and correct that right there. You know I'm a perfectionist when it comes to this thing. But like I said, really good work right by him right there, man. Ultimately being able to just, like I said, understand you're getting two pullers. Everything is telling you to go outside. But tempo on that ball as well. Good work right there by Miles Jack. All right, now on this play right here, man, you're just seeing Miles being super aggressive, physical, and ultimately, like I said, man, playing downhill. I like this a lot, though, man. It's one of those ones when you're watching Miles. 
I'm asking myself, man, is this dude blitzing? Or is he just saying, you know what, man, I got a telltale. Now, I personally think this is a blitz just because of his footwork right here. But here's the plan full speed. Not that we know we're going to talk about it even more. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But um, a couple of things, man. Like I said, early on, you're getting the tight end while you're off motion. And now he has created a two-back set, all right? So even though this is just 11 personnel, meaning one back, oh, excuse me, meaning one back, one tight end, all right? Or I did that all wrong. Yeah. One back, one tight end, those two guys right there. So that's what we call it, 11 personnel. So from a gap perspective, once again, you got Highsmith. He's going to be outside setting the edge. You got Cam uh, Hayward in that back or that uh, B over there. Tyson A. DeMarvin is going to be in this uh, C. And then right here is how we're working this out. Spillane has this A. Miles Jack has this B. But because of this guy right here, it's not simply just a one back, one gap situation because wherever this guy goes, he will essentially carry an extra gap. So Miles has to be aware of that. But on this particular play, man, this is just a Mike Blitz. In terms of how they're running it, man. And Miles just makes a good read on it, man. Read, make a play. All right. So, see him right here, man, creeping down, walking into it, which is fun. Show it. That's cool. And then from there, he knows I got to get to this B gap. All right, cool. DeMarv is going to stay on the outside of this thing and be underneath, which is good as well. But the thing I like is this, man. He doesn't just go in here and bury himself. Okay. Gets right there. Oh, he puts two hands on this guy, but he knows right now, man, this gap is condensed. There is nowhere that this ball can hit. I have controlled my gap with the defender or with this offensive lineman's body, okay? And so I'm talking about this gap right here. It's not here anymore. There is no longer a gap right here. Miles has bottled this thing up. So he understands that, hey, did I do my job? Yes. But is there more to be done? Absolutely. Let's go make a play. All right. So once he closes off his initial gap, now he's playing the rock back. And that's what you see right here. Come off of that. Love the pad level. Good knee bend, hips bent, low. Let's go. Yep. Wrap up. Good tackle right there, man. But once again, really nice play, man. And I also like the fact that by him making this play the way that he does, you ultimately keep it off of the safety too, man. Make it an easier play for the safety. If Miles just comes right here and just stops right there, well, now you're talking about this running back bubbling out, and he's going to have some space on Minka. Obviously, Spillane would, probably, would essentially probably be a little bit too late just because of where he was pre-snap, where his alignment needed to be. But Miles saves that, man. Miles keeps this from being a one-on-one, -on -one. and we saw later in the game when James Cook and Minka had the one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously, James was able to win that to get the touchdown. But this is good work right here, though, by Miles, man. Coming off of that block. Ultimately going out there and making his play, getting his ball carry on the ground right here. But I like it, even though this was a blitz, okay? Read out of it, all right? You close your gap off. Don't just bury yourself and stop. Go out there and finish this play. Go make a tackle, man. This is a good play right here. And this is what Miles does a lot, man. His type of productivity or his productivity in the run game specifically constantly shows up on tape, man. Definitely been a bright spot since joining the team. All right, now this final play from Miles right here just shows him being an athlete, man, making a play. But ultimately, this is really good team defense as well. Um, more importantly, him and Cam Hayward, man. So I definitely want to highlight this play. But here is Miles right here. All right. Play it in full speed. After that, we will break this thing down. Wish I got it in full speed. All right, there we go. Bam. All righty. All righty. So... In terms of the uh the defense stuff like that man so again man what are we seeing got one back right here this is 11 personnel because that's the one running back and then this is your one tight end over here all right so from a defensive standpoint the way that this thing is going to be gapped out demarvin is going to be on the outside of this thing man all right setting that edge you got cam he's going to be no, was that no, that's not Cam. That is uh Larry Ogunjobi, excuse me on that. He'll be in that front side B. Cam has his backside A. Highsmith is fitting in here. Minka is that B gap player. Okay. Miles Jack is this front side A. Devin Bush, front side C. All right. That's ultimately how it is. And then he's the crack replace in terms of Levi Wallace. If Gabriel Davis blocks down on DeMarvin. He shows, all right? Free defender right here. My let free defender on the other side, okay? So as this play starts, as I told you, Miles has his front side A. Cam is in this back side A, all right? 
But a couple things happen here, man. Once this play starts, Miles is going to his A, but Mitch is up on him fast in terms of this center right here, 60. He climbs right now. So a couple of things is happening. Miles understands he still needs to get over top of this thing, but he fills this center up in a hurry and he sees Cam flashing color in front of him. So smart player right here. It was subtle. I'm going to go and rewind it, but he foot fakes this guy and comes back door because he knows, hey, right now with this center being this fast on me, that means you couldn't have doubled Cam or couldn't have combo blocked Cam to uh, to where Miles was at. So Cam more than likely is going to be winning front side. And when you see this color flash in front of you right here is what I'm referring to Cam Hayward. If you're Miles, you know, I don't need to try to fight this to continue uh, to get over right here. I can backdoor this thing, okay? And he does a good job of not just backdooring it, but once he does, clear your hips, get back vertical, and now you got to flatten out and make this play, all right? And now from there, boom, you get that. But this play is made by these two dudes right here, man. Like I said, when you look at Miles, just reading this thing out, all right, you up on me quick, boom, I'm going to give you the foot fake, and if I do that, I got to do it and make the play because what happens if... You don't make this play when you backdoor this. And Cam doesn't continue to make this trip right here. This is the hole, okay? This becomes the gap right here, all right? Because you see, Devin has a guy on him, all right? So you're looking at this safety being the first guy that's going to touch him 10, 15 yards downfield. You do not want that, all right? But these two guys in terms of Miles and Cam, they trust each other right here. Cam continues to cross, condenses this gap. Now it's not there anymore. Miles Jack back doing this thing they've essentially replaced each other's responsibility now cam is front side miles is the backside guy and then miles flattens out makes this play but like i said man really good work right here man this is one of those things that when you watch miles on tape man he's just really smart and really athletic and free plan in the sense that he's not a robot he doesn't feel like i have to do every single thing by the book like that sometimes hey man i'm gonna get a guy coming up fast and i see my color flash and let me backdoor this thing and this is how you do it if you're gonna do the backdoor make sure you're doing it the right way because otherwise it could be very damning in terms of the effect on the defense but in this particular instance right here when you got two guys understanding how to work together and just working on the fly cam knows okay you're not gonna touch me like that let me get over here oh and then at the end of this thing it was subtle also by cam and i'll slow this down so you can see it as well but uh, this element right here. So Cam knows, okay, in terms of the interior part, I want you to look at Cam now, okay? Cam can feel 69 beyond him. So Cam knows this is a new gap right here. He feels this much space, all right? And there's two ways you can uh, close out a gap, with your body or with the opponent's body. Cam decides to go with the ladder and put 76 in the hole. Ejection. I like that. Boom. Sits him right there. Now Cam is even in position to make a play. All right. So these are some of the nuances and the details of why this run defense at times can be really good. When these guys are fresh, healthy, and good to go like this, man, this is how you stop the run. This is good right here, man. Like I said, but for Cam, he secures his gap. Miles backdoors this thing, makes his play. And as a whole, man, you get a really good job right here in terms of stopping this particular run play. So like I said, definitely like that. But um, as a whole, man, let me know your thoughts on Miles Jack. If you've been in uh, liking what you've been seeing from him, if you think you should get more out of him. But either way, man, I appreciate you for tuning in. And until next time, baby, peace.